Morning. We're in Keppel Sands. Uh, we arrived here this morning and uh, we're here for four nights and uh, we're gonna check out the whole area around here and uh, all the way from Yapoon down to uh, Emu Park I think it is and there's Kinka Beach and a few places along the way there but uh, that's what we've got on for the next four days here at um, Keppel Sands. What a fantastic day. We're on the road this morning out of Keppel Sands where we're staying for a few days. And we're heading across to Emu Park first to check that out. But uh, just uh, have a look at a few of the little areas around here in Keppel Sands as well. You can always tell when you're getting a little further north when you start seeing these signs everywhere. down the main street of Emu Park. Still in Emu Park on the Memorial Walk. Just down the end of the main drag there. And uh, this walk I think it heads up to where the singing ship is, so we're going to head up and have a look at that as well. Apparently that island over there is Great Keppel Island. I'm guessing it's the biggest of the lot. Yeah. There's no wind today, so we're probably not going to hear anything. No wind today. No singing ship. Oi. I can sing. No, we don't want you singing, thank you. That's not necessary. Almost perfect day here at Emu Park. Beautiful blue skies, very slight breeze. Must be about 26 degrees. down at the Emu Park boat ramp. It's good to see this coastline again. It's always nice down here. That's enough sightseeing in uh, Emu Park. We've got to find a, a coffee shop. That's probably the most important thing at this uh, very moment, <laughs> I think. Mm -hmm. 
We're at Bluff Point, just a little bit north of Kinka Beach. Very rocky beach, but uh, there's a nice spot over there. Perfect day. Turtle Lookout 700, Ritamata Lookout 770. Not feeling very enthusiastic today, but uh, Michelle's decided we're doing a walk to Turtle Lookout. 700 metres. Now we don't know if that's 700 metres one way. It doesn't say, yeah. Well, we'll have to work it out. You counting? I'm not counting. <laughs> We've got our uh, industrial strength work songs on, yeah. so we should be right. Well, we so, so far it's a bit from past, so it should be pretty easy. I suppose I need a little bit of exercise every now and then. Don't want to overdo it though. You running? Walking, walking, walking. There's butterflies all over the place. Different coloured ones too. Yeah, I was just filming one but it took off. Right beside you there. Walking, walking. It's an easy path though. Or bitumen, a few steps. But I'm guessing it's going to be some spectacular views from the top when we get there. I reckon it's 700 metres one way. 700 one way. Yeah. Uphill. Which is good going back. Yeah, it'll be easy getting down. Yep. As you climb further up, you come out into the sun, which can be a little warm. Oh wow, this is great. Yeah. Magnetic uh, Keppel Island. Great Keppel Island out there. Yeah. And over there in the distance behind that point, the, the mountains you can see in the distance is Byfield National Park. We've been there. Oh, and the last trip we went there. Go back and look at our videos. Sea turtles? Yeah. Haven't seen any. Yeah, there's a sea turtle down there. Just out from those pointy rocks. You can see him hovering around. He's sticking his head up now. They only come up for a short breath of air and then they dive down again. There's another one over there. Another couple over there actually. And there's another one out there. I reckon we've seen five or six of them. Another 70 metres and you come to the second lookout. That first one was called Turtle Lookout. I'm not sure of the name of this one. But it's 70 metres further on, so it's worth the extra bit of a walk. Oh, wow. That's what I like about it up here. You, you come and look out over the ocean. You see little islands dotted everywhere. That's Bluff Rock. That we saw from the other lookout. What a perfect day. Well, it's one good thing. The walk back's all downhill. Hey? Yeah. Anyway, let's kick back and have a look at this uh, view for a little while before we start heading back down. These views are why we keep coming back up to Queensland. We've nearly been out for every year for the last few years. Like I say, go back and check out our, our uh, previous videos. Well, better start the walk back to the car 700 metres downhill. But there's a few steps, so uh, it's a bit tough on the knees. But other than that, bitumized track, real easy walk. Well, we're back down at the car park and uh, we got some pizzas in the travel oven which uh, 
we're going to get into right now. Where are you going, mate? Okay. What have you done while you're running? Lunch time. Oh, it smells good too. Peaches. Yep. For lunch. Why do you always stand with your back to us? Oi. Yeah, we're just on a track uh, from Yapoon up through Byfield National Park and we're trying to get to a place called Sandy Point. The track in has been really rough but it's just a normal road but it's just very un unmaintained. Crocodiles inhabit this area. Michelle had to walk uh, through the bush and <laughs> oh. did the cobweb dance. Oh, it was terrible. What a ride. <laughs> We've got mangrove all around us, we've seen lace monitors walking around and there's signs for crocs but uh, heaps of traffic looks like it's been through already so let's go for it. Welcome to Sandy Point Byfield National Park. Don't get caught out, incoming tides have stranded and submerged vehicles. So there you go. Yeah, we must be about here somewhere, I think. We, the tides come into there in 2015, see that? Yeah. So we can go on further. So according to this, uh, vehicles are allowed on the right hand side of uh, Sandy Point Road on Farnborough Beach. The road's not bad getting to this point. A little bit of mud on the track. Other than that, it's been a fun drive. Oh, let's keep moving, eh? On towards Sandy Point. Well, we've arrived at the, um, the beach. The sand's reasonably firm. I don't know what it's like down here at the end. We're just gonna check it out before we drive onto it. Don't wanna take any unnecessary risks. What do you reckon? I think that wet bit there looks a bit firm. The wet bit looks firm. Here we go. That's nice. Well, I've decided we're going to head down onto the beach. It's going to drop some pressures a bit first. We'll get down about 18 or something because uh, it is pretty soft the first, I don't know, 50 metres. And then, uh, then it's pretty firm once you get nearer the water. Yep, we'll go.
we're down at Sandy Point Beach after that uh, pretty rough road all the way in. We've just been uh, getting a few shots around here. It's uh, tides are out, tides way out, but it's uh, quickly on its way back in. And we're parked up there on the beach. I don't know if you can make that out in the distance, but uh, yeah, it's really nice out here. But a massive stretch of sand here at low tide. At high tide, we'd be in the water, but. Uh, well, if you're looking for something to do out of your pern out of the ordinary, then uh, drive up to Byfield, up to Sandy Point, and uh, have a look at that. It's it's an easy drive. It's a rough road, but it's it's a little bit of uh, bog hole and that on the way, but nothing serious for driving. Just a bit of fun, and uh, you get to see this. Okay, we started at Yapoon just after lunch, headed up this road past Funborough Beach, continued up here, that's where we are at the moment, and uh, that's Byfield National Park there, continued on into that, all the way up to Sandy Point, so uh, pretty much from Yapoon up to that point there. It's been a good drive, pretty easy going. And uh, it's been a really good day. Enjoy this. Well, it was only an afternoon drive. It's not really that far. It's an easy track. It's a little bumpy, a little bit of water, but uh, all, all hard bottom, so it's easy going. And the beach is uh, amazing. So uh, head down there if you're in your poon and you've got nothing to do and have a look. Just be careful. Even got Michelle pumping tyres up. Do you notice know, something? Every time you stop to pump your tyres up, the valve stem is always at the bottom. So you've got to bend down further to get to it. I mean, this only becomes an issue as you get older. But uh, look at that one. It's sort of, it's sort of at three o'clock there. I mean, most of the time it comes in at six. Why is that? Around this size, what have we got? See? Nine o'clock. And this one. Almost down at six o'clock again. They never stop at the top. Oh, look at that little teddy bear's picnic. There's a little sign up here. Oh, they got lamington. No, they're not lamington. So they're um, hedgehogs. The teddy bear's picnic. The teddy bear picnic. No, teddy bears. bears. Oh, yeah. Unless it's the teddy bear picnic. <laughs> you Richard. Very cool. Somebody's gone to a lot of trouble here. It's just a little bit north of Yapoon. I like saying that. <laughs> Where is it? Yapoon. Well, the shadows are getting long. It's half past four. We're just going to head back into Yapoon to uh, maybe catch the sunset. And then we better start getting back home. Because uh, we've got to organise some dinner. We didn't bring anything with us. So. A teddy bear's picnic, eh? Cute. <laughs> yes. So are you. Thanks, Lord. Oh, jeez. 23 degrees at 4.30. So it's not too bad for the day. Wreck Point Trail. It's windy. Where are we? Yapoon. That's that marina that we were driving yeah. around down there. Yeah, down the marina. It's just about uh, about there. There it is. And as you can see, the sun's going down.
just a little bit south of Yapoon, a place called Causeway Lake. Just catching the sunset there. Driving along, arrived at Kinka Beach, heading back home, 5.30. Who's that walking across the street? That's Michelle, Kinka Kipper. I think we're having fish and chips for tea. Look at these Jim Sims. They're the smallest Jim Sims I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Well that winds up our four days in Keppel Sands, it's been a good stay here, we explored the area between Yapoon and uh, Emu Park and that was fun, and uh, four days of just kicking back, relaxing and a uh, little bit of time in Rockhampton, caught up with a friend there, which was good, went out to the pub to the Criterion, that was a good night, and uh, other than that, tomorrow we're moving on, and we're heading across to Rocky first, and then north from there on the Bruce Highway, but we don't know where we're going. So yeah, you're going to have to stick around to see uh, where we're heading next. But then again, we don't even know. Have a look at that. Keppel Sands.